This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations, everybody! Let's go. Let's go. We're, this is the first video we're recording in my new condo, so if the, yeah. it sounds a little different, that's why. We're continuing with Turnabout Reminiscence. He's got <laughs> a pretty good condo. I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> Previously. Oh, <Nevita. laughs> We found okay. that Mackerel, great name Wait. by the way, <laughs> killed the pro his prosecutor. Yeah, and I the just, prosecutor killed him. Possibly. I just realized there's this guy that's like, "Wow, this is gonna be a really cool story. I'll just take pictures." <laughs> he's the autopsy guy. He has but he's to taking pictures. so many pictures. Also, it literally looks like he's just taking pictures of Francisca. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> I'm 13. You Hence why she's stomping her foot. She's just like, stop! Gumshoe is following us <laughs> everywhere. Let's talk to him for a little bit. Yeah, pal. I'm so excited, pal! This is my first real crime scene. Let's get investigating. Um, Detective Gumshoe. I thought investigations were supposed to be conducted in a calm, collected manner. <laughs> what do you know about how to run an investigation, little boy prosecutor? I know that, at the very least, I have a greater grasp of than you of what happened here. Wow! Why, you- you don't know any more than me, pal! Well, look, why don't you just stay behind me, boy, and get out of the way? Ironic, coming from the guy that's been a step behind me the entire case. Yep. Yeah, so, for those of you who don't know, because this is Gumshoe's first case, he doesn't know us, so he doesn't- he hasn't had time to idolize us yet. Yeah, that's- This is my first time setting foot inside the courthouse! Who would have thought that it'd be my first case as a detective? But you know, I get the feeling I'll be coming here a lot more in the future. As a suspect detective. <laughs> what a savage. Oh, oh, Edgeworth is savage. Of course not, pal. Anyway, this lobby's actually pretty luxurious. I mean, for a defendant's lobby, it's got a pretty big TV. Oh, and there's that tea set on the table over there. Bet you didn't know that I like to drink tea. Wow, this room is really decked out. If it means spending time in here, maybe being a suspect isn't such a bad feat after all. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god. Detective, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm beginning to suspect that leaving this detective in charge of anything might be bad. Edgeworth strikes me as the guy, like, in high school who, like, he's a man of few words. But when yep. he opens his mouth, <laughs> it's either going to be a sick burn or it's going to be amazing. Or both. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> but he is right. This room is rather well furnished. <laughs> and somewhere in this room, the truth is slumbering. It's time to find it and give it a wake-up call. Now I know why that prosecutor, not prosecutor, defense attorney was laughing at us so yeah. hard. Every time I look at Edgeworth, I'm like waiting for him to like set off on the map toward Burn <laughs> and be like, we walked down the road. <laughs> and then bandits came. And then bandits came. <laughs> we have to <laughs> defeat the boss, Bug. <laughs> Bug? <laughs> That's actually the name of a bandit boss in the first oh, fire I <laughs> Bug the bandit. So, Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, what is it, boy? Yeah, of all the people that call me that, this detective is by far the least qualified. The I, I mean, the graphics do look better. I don't know why, but I just noticed because usually he only holds that position for like two seconds. Yeah. Yeah, his eyes. He looks like he's going to murder that dude. Yeah. I wanted to ask you about how the investigation is proceeding. See for yourself, pal. Oh, do I do a great detective bad or what? Has um, this man not a professional bone in his body? Ah, very well, then I will inspect the victim's bodies myself. Alright, get out of here, Gumshoe. He's gonna follow us over there. There are some plastic bags stacked up on the table. There's a tea set, too. But there doesn't seem to be any sign of a disturbance. Yeah, the table's all neat and tidy. Oh yeah, logic! <laughs> I've never heard of that before! <laughs> Maybe they were super quiet in their scuffle. After all, I didn't hear anything from out in the hallway, you know? Maybe the plastic bags scattered on the floor are throwing us off? I doubt they would have staged his name so much. There are some plastic bags stacked up on the table. Oh, there's the same thing? Yes. Apparently, well, there's, there's a, a bag, bag here. There's some stuff in the bag, pal. I suppose this was Mr. Faraday's bag. Oh. It's probably the trial evidence I was supposed to collect from him. Detective Bad's still in here. Th this is the evidence? Ah, I better not touch it. I'll leave prints on it. Do you just not pay attention to anything you do? So bad. So. Whoa! Whoa, what is it, Detective Gumshoe? The TV at home, my TV at home is so tiny compared to this one, pal. 
then perhaps you should purchase a more normal-sized television like this one? <laughs> oh, let me see here. Wow, this feet is huge! <laughs> wow! They're way too noisy! You're a noisy one, Scruffy! Don't touch it! You'll get your fingerprints all over it. But I didn't touch it! Preservation of the crime scene is the foundation of detective work. Foundation, huh? Sounds like something the rookie here needs to shore up on. The window is open and... Heh, there's a fresh flowery scent in the air. Ugh! Flowers in the garden down there are so gross and ghastly! Do you think maybe you could try offering something useful for a change? Well, at least there's no way someone escaped through this window, pal. They wouldn't wake up and smell the flowers after a fall from the third floor. Are you willfully ignoring the fact that there are also iron bars on the windows? <laughs> I just saw there's an air conditioning unit, which I didn't think anybody could jump over that. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's that too. Either way, no one can get through these windows, right? They thought of everything when they were designing this courthouse. Very nice. Iron bars? It's so sad. Ah, uh, I see. Did you figure something out? This is a competition, Miles! And as such, I'd appreciate it if you didn't talk to me. <sighs> as you wish. What? Come on! I want to talk to creepy uh, photo guy uh, there. Gotta get pictures of Francis. <laughs> <laughs> this decorative plant's foliage is quite nice. It's actually soothing to be around. Actually, Francisca's like, I might as well get my school photos done here as well. <laughs> you, take them. <laughs> In her prosecutor outfit. <laughs> no, the, oh my gosh, can you imagine, like, the uh, Francisca's senior picture? <laughs> like everyone's like, oh, like I'm out in the fall leaves. She's just like in, whipping people in court, like with the judge, like whipping. Because keep in mind, Francisca was 18 in Justice for All. Yeah, so, so she, she, got, easily... she got her senior photos <laughs> <laughs> and then got shot in the arm. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I nearly forgot about that. And she, she's just like, it's fine. I'm going into surgery. I'll be back. And Miles is just like, no, 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 you're not. <laughs> Hmm, perhaps I should purchase one for my room. Ooh, Charlie. It looks like this sofa is ready to be disposed of. It's so soft! I could sleep for all 25 hours of the day on this thing. <laughs> yep. If only I could dispose of him. I have to get the hmm, why are there plastic bags scattered all around? Those bags are for keeping evidence safe, pal. I know that much, Detective. You sure are good at this stuff, aren't you, pal? Normally, I'd be happy when someone compliments me, but when it's this guy... Anyway, could these plastic bags be evidence of a fight between the two men? Is it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> it looks like Mr. Faraday fell on top of Mr. Rell. At first glance, it seems like they must have killed each other, however... Using logic, the only logical conclusion is, aha! Wait, he had heard I was of logic. Like, I was about to say, he was just like bluffing. This is the thing. <laughs> or he, or he forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was that outburst for? My detective's instinct just hit me real hard. It was Mr. Rell that fell first. See? You don't need a detective's instinct for that. It's common sense. But I suppose we won't know much more than that until after I examine the bodies. Yeah, there's not enough blood. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious look and crack. There's not enough blood on the floor or on the dude on the bottom. Mm hmm? Why are there plastic bags scattered all around? Those bags are for keeping evidence safe, pal. I know that much, detective. You sure are good at this stuff, aren't you, pal? Normally, I'd be happy when someone compliments me, when it's, but when it's this guy. Anyway, could these be evidence of a fight between the two men? I examined one that was bloody. That's not different. Looks like Mr. Farden died while holding the gun in his right hand. So he, sh so he shot Mr. Rell and then fell on top of him while still gripping Watch. onto the it's, gun. He's gonna be left I guess that does seem kind of strange, huh? I mean, why would Mr. Farden know how to fire a gun? It's not exactly rocket science. Even I know how to pull a trigger. This is America, after all. He knows how to pull a trigger. <laughs> Although I doubt I'll ever need to use one. I hope I never have to fire a gun either, pal. You're a detective! You're gonna have to do that a lot. <laughs> yeah, every day they just shoot people, right? <laughs> no, but like... <laughs> detectives, though, don't they usually have like a yeah, gun yeah. on them at all times? Yeah! Most law enforcement I officers I don't do. know how long, how much they shoot per year, but I'm guessing more, at least once, maybe more than 
Like, At least with, like a warning shot. Yeah, a warning shot or something to make sure they don't run away. Yeah. But it sure does look cool to hold a gun in your hands. This is why people go to America. It appears that the police's uh, screening procedures need a thorough review. Anyway, I should jot down some notes about the handgun in Mr. Farday's head. Here's the question that I have. This is random. It, um... You're left-handed. Yeah. I'm right-handed. Yeah. If you point at someone, do you point with your left hand or with your right hand? Left hand. Left hand. Okay. I, don't I mean, know unless what I'm I holding do. something in my left hand. Okay. I don't know which one I do because I have the weirdness of growing up with you, so sometimes I do things left-handed. But I'm curious if, like, when they were showing in court, like, people, like, going back and forth, if he pointed with, like, his right hand instead of his left hand. I mean... To signify that maybe... Edgework did both? That's Edgeworth. Edgeworth would be Edgeworth did both because he's been on the prosecutor's bench and the defense's bench. And they literally just horizontally flipped the spray. Oh, okay. When was he on the defense bench? Case 35. Where he was defending Iris. Oh, yeah! I forgot about that. Mr. Faraday, how ironic it is for him to lose his life in the courthouse. Because Mr. Uh, Bright <laughs> fell off a bridge, maybe. Yeah. Yeah! Why did it have to be like this? I don't know what to say. I can't believe this happened while I was on watch, pal. Rather than beating yourself up, you should spend your time continuing the investigation. Didn't you become a detective in order to solve crimes? Yeah. Then get back to work. Find out the cause of his murder. R right I'm on it, pal! First he killed a, a Kodopian embassy staff member, and then he was murdered himself. This guy wasn't exactly an angel, you know. Oh? What makes you say that? Well, he's been hauled into the precinct several times for theft and assault, pal. Yeah. So yeah, he's definitely the type to have committed a murder or two. Well, he did admit to killing Mr. Dead Man. <laughs> hey! Good point, pal! I knew my detective's intuition was telling me something. Detective's intuition? Yup! Do you know about it? It's a special feeling that all detect- We don't have time for this conversation right now. Let's return to the what investigation. What if we play a game as a detective and then it, it's like detective's intuition? <laughs> I bet it's this. <laughs> it's just wrong because yeah. they can use logic. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Mr. Oh, looks like Mr. Ralph fell with a knife in his hand. There's some blood stuck on it. Then he must have used this as a weapon. Yep, no doubt about it. Was Mr. Faraday carrying this on his personage? Did he bring this as a piece of evidence for the trial? Or did he bring it with a very different intention in mind? I should jot some notes down about it. The guy on the bottom, he's got like the nose, like um, like a me character. Where it's like, which nose am I gonna give a me? And like, you give him the weird round one, and you're like, eh. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. His hand is all black down here, see? I wonder, oh, I, wonder I didn't notice be. that. Hmm. If you look closely, this blotching pattern resembles an ink stain. An ink stain? Yes. Have you ever played Splatoon? I or usually Mario get Kart? ink on my uh, opponents by shooting at them. I mean, I usually get ink <laughs> on my own hand when I use my feather pen. Of course he uses a feather pen. What is this, the 1700s? No, of course he does. <laughs> He's like, I might have accidentally gotten some on my cravat <laughs> at one point. It's fine. A feather pen? I've never seen one before. Are you sure you're not making it up, pal? Mr. Rell's cause of death was from being shot, correct? You want to talk to Forensics Guy? Or bad? Forensics and Francisca. Well, Francisca wouldn't let us talk to her. Mm -hmm. And, She's just and Forensics here doing Guy nothing. is trapped. We literally couldn't reach him. Oh. Uh, he was good. His cause of death was from being shot, correct? That's what we think, but it's hard to tell with him lying face down. Death is bad enough, but it's truly lamentable that someone would try to hide the truth. Um, are you sure they were trying to hide something? I can't confirm Mr. Rell's cause of death with his body positioned like that. Detective Bad, I'd like to examine the bodies in further detail, if possible. What's this? You're not able to form a theory with them the way you are they are. I believe an examination of the bodies is vital to finding the perfect evidence, don't you? Hm. I suppose you do have a point. Well, hurry up and get on with it! Labby. Ah, uh, yes, sir! We've taken enough photos of Francisca hiding <laughs> the scene, sir! <laughs> and there you have it. D do you not approve? Of course not. What? Investigation of a crime scene is the work of a detective, so don't touch a thing. 
Come in, big fella. Turn over the bodies for me, will you? Oh, okay, that's uh, fine. Okay. Please forgive me, Mr. Faraday, sir. Gumshoe, do not get emotionally involved. Remember, you're a detective. Yes, sir! Understood, sir! Yeah, there, should be, there should be way more blood on the floor. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. One of them looks so peaceful, and the other and one's everyone's like, like Ugh, Ugh. I'm gonna die killing someone. <laughs> <laughs> Shot in the chest. It takes some guts to fire a gun in a courthouse. Yeah. I mean, I've been a detective for a whole week and I still haven't fired a single round yet. There aren't any burn marks on his clothes, that must mean... Wait, burn marks? A round glows very hot as it is discharged from a firearm. Therefore, burn marks are usually left when a shot is fired from point-blank range. Ergo, Mr. Realm must have been shot from at least a yard or two away. Yeah. A yard's not that much. You sure do know a bunch of neat stuff for your age, pal. Apparently, this detective has as much common knowledge as your everyday marsupial. And, and <laughs> you don't have as much common knowledge to spell correctly. What? Common. Oh, Kimon. Kimon! <laughs> he doesn't have as much Kimon knowledge as your everyday marsupial. <laughs> nice catch. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh There's something in his breast pocket. It's a foundation, a fountain pen. <laughs> <laughs> foundation pen. When you, when you really, really need to get that yeah. makeup on. <laughs> hey, you know, I always keep a pencil behind my ear. It's because Detective Bad is always telling me, you should always write your name on everything you own. Yes, somehow you do strike me as quite a forgetful <laughs> individual. Oh, man. What is... Edgeworth just the sick burns. Yeah. There's a knife wound in his chest here, see? I wonder if the wound matches the knife Mr. L is holding. Blabby. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Very fine now, sir. Make it from the look of fiends, one could deduce that the knife Mr. L is holding is what killed Mr. Faraday. Let us now try to understand how the two men died. First, Mr. Faraday took the gun and the knife out of today's trial evidence. Then he aimed the gun at Mr. L and fired. However, Mr. L managed to grab the knife and counter Mr. Faraday while being shot. Whoa! Then the two men fell together where they stood. That is my theory in any case. What a crazy way to go! Still, something about that explanation just doesn't seem right. How could you miss at point blank range? He didn't Even... shoot at point blank okay, range. Okay, if you're three feet away from somebody, you will shoot them! Like, three feet away is like... Unless you're as bad at aiming in Splatoon as I am. <laughs> you're not bad at aiming in Splatoon. Uh, yes, I am. That's why I can't use the charge. Oh, you, you hate the charge. Oh, man, give me a good charge. I hate charges so much. I but I hate, any I hate the that. heavy splat wing guns or whatever. Those are kind of fun, because you don't have to aim as well. <laughs> yeah, I think that might be why. I don't like those. Hmm. I believe I now have a firmer grasp on what happened here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Francisca left. Oh. No, she didn't. She's, she's just, just over here. She's like, I'm done with them taking pictures. Uh. Oh, same thing. I'm getting my senior sense. photos done. Please stop. No, no, she's not. Now, <laughs> now he's taking pictures. <laughs> I want to talk to forensics boy. No, it looks like when um running against the wall again. No, never mind. Detective Bad, do you have any thoughts on the case? Faraday and Rel. Looks like they killed each other to me. Although there are a few things that just don't seem right. Uh, and that what would they what would they be? <laughs> Why don't you try thinking on your own first before you bother me, boy? Wow. Well, now I've been downgraded to just boy! Run against the wall. It looks like when Katara's yeah, like, yeah. I'm gonna make water! <laughs> I'm, I'm like, gonna make my own water. water. Yeah. Okay, logic time. Neat and tiny table. The tea set and well, plastic bags are completely Well, probably that matches up with the other bags on the ground. Bags on the ground. The Looking like a fool with, with your bags, bags on the ground. ground. There is a very tidy pile of plastic bags on the table, and yet a portion of them wound up scattered on the floor as well. It's not likely that the ones on the floor were knocked over during a struggle. In which case, might there not be another explanation as to how they got there? Um, another reason? I believe it's possible that the blood on the outside of this bag is related somehow. Yeet! Please get that blood away from me, pal! Detective Gumshoe, whose blood is on this bag? Um. Hold on, well, let me ask the lab guy. 
Alright, please hurry. Wait till you get a load of this! It's Mr. Faraday's! Oh, and the technician said they didn't find anything else on or in the bag either. Hmm... It would appear that this bag is a very important piece of evidence. Okay, if you say so, I leave it in your hands, pal. Maybe the bag was in... Uh, Mr. Faraday was stabbed or he was he shot? He was stabbed. He was stabbed. Maybe the bag was in his, like, pocket. Think, think, um... <laughs> no, 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 This is like, um... Ugh, Back to the Future, where he's like, I've got the bulletproof vest and only on the specific spots where I got shot. It could be like that, where there was, like, a bag blocking it, and then for whatever reason, like, someone ripped it off of him. He was like, oh, no. And then he has blood all over it, and then the blood That's still possible. looks through. Maybe. But there would be, like, traces of plastic on him. Traces of plastic? <laughs> what would that be? <laughs> no, like, when you tear a plastic bag, there's, like, the little shreds. Not only if you tear it like an animal. <laughs> well, if there's a knife <laughs> around teeth. it, and you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> that splotch on Mr. Faraday's hand. I wonder if it might be the ink from his fountain pen. Ooh, let's ask the lab guy. The lab guy's getting to do a lot. Yeah, the lab guy is being very competent. Uh, Detective God too. I confirm that the substance on Mr. Faraday's hand is the ink from his fountain pen. Good. I see. Good work. Ah. You know, I've always wanted to say that, even if it was just one time in my life. Wow. If Mr. Faraday wrote this with his fountain pen in his left hand, I think it's fair to assume he was left-handed. <laughs> it appears that Mr. Faraday's pen is very important to our case as well. Yep. Okay, if you say so, pal. I knew it. I knew he'd be left-handed. I totally forgot he was, actually. So good job It's on probably that. not that big of a deal. I guess there's not much left to investigate, huh? They really did kill each other. No. We can't conclude that quite yet, even though that's what I've been saying for this entire time. Uh-huh. <laughs> There's still something I find very peculiar here. Is it the piece on someone's face and the disgust on another's? Sure. The theory that they simply killed one another is too simplistic in this case. In fact, there is actually a contradiction that shows there is another possibility. No way, pal! Really? Humph. I suppose I will just have to show you the conflict in the crime scene. Is it because they're holding the wrong weapons? No, it's because he's left-handed and he's oh, holding this right, in his right, right. right hand. I just thought that was Gumshoe being stupid when flipping him over. Like he put the gun in his <laughs> other hand? Well, okay, if you're a dead body, you can't keep a grip at all. I thought maybe it like fell and then he's like, oh, whoops, do 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 Mr. Farda used his left hand to write with his There's fountain pen. There's a lot of left-handed criminals. Ergo, he is left-handed. And yet the handgun is in his right hand. What if he shot the guy while writing something? It's like Captain Hook, where he shoots the guy from behind the back. <laughs> I forgot about that! I need to rewatch that movie, it's Peter so Peter Pan funny. is such a good movie. And yet, the handgun is in his right hand. Don't you find it odd that the left-handed Mr. Farday would hold the gun in his right hand? That, lady and gentlemen, is the le great contradiction haunting this crime scene. Hey, you're right, pal! That does seem kind of strange. But, how could something like that happen? The effects add up to one conclusion and one alone. Someone else put the gun in Mr. Farty's hand after he died. Someone else? Plastic bags scattered on the floor and a gun in the wrong hand. I sense the presence of a shadowy figure behind this case. A person of vile intent who is serious about keeping the truth from us. Maybe we just don't discover what happens and Von Karma was just like... <laughs> 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 or it could be detected bad with a million bullet wounds. <laughs> Not a million <laughs> bullet wounds, a million bullet holes in his jacket. <laughs> a million bullet wounds? I'm still standing. <laughs> <laughs> September 10th, District Court, Defendant Lobby number 2. Here's the autopsy report. It is probable that Mr. Bell survived for a long- or for a short time after he was shot. <laughs> it's probably he survived for a long time, time. after oh, he was man. shot. It's like when you get, like, uh, the guy in uh, Princess Bride got shot with the arrow and they just didn't pull it out either. I literally don't remember that movie at this point. That movie is it's so like, it's overrated. It's so overrated. It's a, it's a funny movie, don't get me wrong. But fine. it is so overrated. Some of it was when I watched it, it was like kind of a weird time in my life where like I didn't really care. And all of these people around me were like, Princess Bride is the greatest thing ever! I'm like, no. Uh, no. No, it's, it's really It's not. a fun movie, but it's, it's kind of funny. The There's some good, memorable moments, 
but like it's, I would never. It's quoted so much. I, it's movies. not a movie that I'd be like, I have to watch that every two years. Like I would be like, I'll watch this every ten. <gasps> what about Bob? It's a good movie to see. Maybe once, once a year, not every, every week. week. Like, <laughs> yup. <laughs> However, Mr. Faraday died instantly from a stabbing. Interesting. Crime scene notes updated in the new organizer. It looks like we now know everything we need to know about this case. Are you sure we know everything? Of course! This incident began with Mr. Faraday attempting to get his revenge. The prosecution, or the prosecution. I'm almost a prosecution, but anyway. The prosecutor went into rage for being accused and tried to kill the defendant. But the defendant fought back and they ended up killing each other. It's all very clear and simple. There's absolutely no margin for doubt. Do you really believe that to be the truth? She's like holding a red stick. I know it's her whip. She's yeah. just like, if... Huh, are you saying that just because I figured out the truth before you, that you don't want to believe it's true? Yeah. It's alright. If you disagree with my argument, then prove me wrong. Well, if there are any contradictions to be found, that is. Don't worry, I will. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Interrogation! Edgeworth versus Francisca, what happened? Mr. Faraday's death was instantaneous, while Mr. Rouse survived for a short time. From this, it's obvious that Mr. Faraday died after he shot Mr. Rell. And Mr. Rell, while on the brink of death, stole Mr. Faraday's knife and stabbed him. I almost said kidnapped. <laughs> Those are the facts of this case. She looks like an old school teacher with that stick. Like the... <laughs> Oh, maybe. Or like, like the, the, the teacher white, who the slaps board. your hands with a ruler. Yeah, sure. Like that kind of teacher, yeah. She totally would be that kind of teacher, too. Oh, yeah. Mr. Faraday's death was instantaneous, therefore he must have attacked first. Proving that logic to be false is probably the fastest way to show her that she's wrong. In that case, I should first look for any holes in her theory. 